Hi, and welcome to SciFi.com's kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make oysters with champagne air with the help from our little friend, lecithin. Lecithin is a soy-based product that's actually used as a dietary supplement most commonly. I actually use soy lecithin to make foams and to make airs and basically as an emulsifier. It allows me to create things that never before were actually possible. So what I like to do is take this soy and actually add it to, I don't know, any sort of water-based liquid and then just watch the foam grow. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. What we're gonna do is basically take some, uh, take some champagne because who doesn't love a little bit of champagne with their oysters? So um, what do you say, should we have a party? Wow, yeah, um, it's officially a party in here. So um, what we wanna do is actually take our champagne and we're just gonna go ahead and pour it into this glass bowl that we have right here. And as you can see, the bubbles are already forming, and that's from the, uh, the method de champenois. That's the natural carbonation that's already inside of there. And the problem with that is, as you can see, they're not really sustaining. These bubbles are deflating very, very quickly. And we want to actually figure out a way for those, for those bubbles to become stable. And here's the other problem. If I go ahead and try to aerate this now, it's just gonna deflate the bubbles even more. So we wanna add more bubbles to our bubbles and actually get them to become stable. See, that just evaporated, just like that. So let's see what happens when we add a little bit of our friend over here. Our soy-based derivative, AKA less than. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buzz that. And you can already see the bubbles forming and stabilizing. And the cool thing about foams is it's a great way to add like a nice, very flavorful, light, airy sauce to your dish without having anything be too heavy. So you can actually infuse or incorporate a flavor into a dish and still have it like a very nice, light component. So I wanna do a little bit, show you actually a variation of this air. So instead of just doing regular champagne, what we're actually gonna do is kind of like a, almost like a mimosa. So we're gonna take a little orange juice, a little blood orange juice that we have right here, and just go ahead and make like a mimosa air. Look how beautiful these blood oranges are. Oh, they're so beautiful. Nice and vibrant, very flavorful, very acidic, which is exactly what you want with an oyster. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, buzz this air up. And as you can see, all of these bubbles are getting basically trapped in the back there. And they're just gonna continue to increase in volume as they aerate. And just keep your immersion blender. This right here is a, it's a common, common kitchen tool. This is what we call a handheld immersion blender or a stick blender. You can get these at any sort of store, um, kitchen store, kitchen utensil store, or you can also use one of these little frothers. These actually work quite well as well. Um, let me just go ahead and demonstrate that right now for you. So with a little frother, you can pick these up anywhere too. You just go ahead and pop this guy in there and um, it'll actually form little nice bubbles as well. So now what we're gonna do is actually allow this air to kind of like settle. I want all of the bubbles to continue forming and to become a little bit more stable. So while that's resting, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, you know, shuck some of these oysters over here, right? Because you want your oysters to be freshly shucked. The fresher they are, the tastier they are, the better they are. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my fancy fandangled little oyster knife right here and essentially create a mitt with this side tail because I mean, when you're shucking an oyster, you can do it in your hand, but it's actually very dangerous and you wanna prevent yourself from stabbing yourself or cutting yourself um, because it is actually, when you're shucking an oyster, it's, it takes a little, bit of, a, little bit of a, a little bit of finesse. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your oyster knife and actually find there's a little cavity right in here and you wanna just basically gently put it in there, protecting your hand and then just you'll feel like a little pop. And then as soon as that oyster pops, you kind of want to slide it because it's actually an abductor muscle right here and right here that's adhering the oyster to the shell. So you want to sever that muscle with your knife. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide the knife back along the top of the oyster shell until I feel that little muscle, that little abductor muscle sever. And as I open this up, you can actually see what I'm talking about. There's the muscle right here. So I actually popped through that little hole right there, drag the knife along the top right there until you sever that muscle. And you actually have to do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my knife really quick and do the same thing. There's the abductor muscle. Same thing on the other side. And then what I like to do is actually give it a little flip for presentation and kind of like open it up so it becomes nice and pretty. 
And as you can see now, this, this foam has like a very nice, fluffy, airy consistency. This is a great way to infuse a flavor into a dish and still have it light and fresh. So as you can see, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this foam and put it right on top of these oysters right here. And then here we have our oysters with blood orange and champagne foam, just like that. Doesn't get much better than this. Cheers. Absolutely delicious. And that's how you add a little quantum into your kitchen.